Yeah, hey everyone, Brian with you from the Game Cabinet. We're playing some more Humankind. We're continuing here. Our campaign is now the Mughals, better known as the civilization that has elephants with cannons on their backs. So I was actually taking a look here on the map, and this mausoleum looks kind of cool because the waterfall is like basically coming through the staircase. I mean, honestly, the staircase should probably be pointed in a different direction just because, you know, it's a little weird that the staircase, like you can't even like literally climb this mausoleum, but whatever, you know, isn't a mausoleum to the gods. So like no one should, no mortals should be able to go into it anyways also apparently the river here is like running right into the middle but whatever so we were talking about potentially going to war with the aztecs here sorry not the aztecs well yeah we wanted to go to war with the aztecs but we also wanted to go war to war with the mexicans and do the invasion so i did some testing and so every one of these units is actually going to be uh the the um they're basically every one of those units in the water is actually a caravel so they all have 27 combat strength so the funny thing is we really don't need any um, naval support with them because these guys are actually going to be strong enough by themselves, which kind of seems weird at first because you're like, wait a second, how do these units have such strong navy? But then it does kind of make sense because technically they are all loaded up onto a ship. So, yeah, I guess it somewhat makes sense. So point being when we declare war on them we don't actually have to worry about these guys uh being off by themselves and we don't necessarily have to worry about you um i don't mind the idea of going ahead and knocking out the carracks and getting these guys upgraded because then at that point we can just um we don't have to worry about them at that point they can go sail in the ocean and do whatever they want and that's great so anyways let's go ahead and start moving our units um you know what i probably should move you back oh there's actually a thing here um yeah, I think I want to move you back just because you're going to be pretty close by and I can upgrade you and then I don't have to worry about you going into the ocean. And then, yeah, I have this guy up here. So we're just going to kind of maybe just take him around. He's already up here. Um, the other thing is we do have that elephant that's coming over here. Uh, where were we going to send the elephant? Were we going next to ruin or are we coming? We were coming over here first, weren't we? Yeah. Okay. I like that idea. I like that idea. All right. So a couple of our cities have nothing to work on right now. Question is what exactly do we need more units, naval units? I don't think so. You don't have really any of the production stuff going right now. So I'm going to knock those out and just kind of let you chill. Money is probably our biggest need at this point. Uh, so if I were to build a money district, that's 13 gold. This is not replacing anything, right? Is that a district currently? Uh, no, it's just an exploitation. I don't understand the exploitation. Maybe it is based on population like Civ. So if you have 16 population, they're working 16 tiles. Maybe that is the case. I don't know. I gotta, I gotta dig into the files a little bit better. Um, oh, we wanted the money, not the production. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and build that, which will get rid of the production, but it'll give us a whole bunch of uh, money, which is what we need at this point, especially since this army is going to be kind of expensive. Um, do we really want another one? I mean, oh my god, it's 54 effing science, our production. <laughs> <laughs> these things are a little ridiculous so um what is the science right here just for the record I, eh. so the science right here is only seven 54 production man dude i kind of have to do it i'm not even lying like 54 production we're just like knocking everything out in one turn this is just going to be the stupidest city in the history of cities um can we there were no wonders left to claim yeah that's right we need to get to the next era so we can get some we can probably build them out. And the thing is, we really need to start digging and taking some stuff from Green Guy. Um, just because we need to stop his fame. Income. I think we're not going to have a hard time uh, beating him, though, long term. So, I will say, I like the map size. Uh, I, I don't remember if I mentioned this, but I did kind of see where you can change the map settings and stuff like that. I think this is a good map setting like size wise probably would like a little bit less ocean but at the same point i mean having an ocean is kind of interesting it's it's a little more realistic the one thing that um i remember reading one of the reviews it's like um add a few more players to the map size just because it makes it a little more competitive and i actually think i kind of like that as well i think this could use an extra player or two just i mean it's going to make your cities a little smaller potentially but i don't know I don't know. So they're suspicious of us. We do want to go to war with Aztecs, but we're not doing it yet. I think, though, now is the turn we we're going to go to war against these guys. So, hello. We have 99 war support. We're definitely going to do this. Cultural conversion started. Edo Japanese. Okay, that's fine. Um, that actually happened, right? 
Yeah, okay, we're at war. Uh, we got prompt here. So we're still at peace with them. Oh, interesting. So they don't immediately come into the war because they're allies. They just have a grievance, or, well, I have a grievance against them because they're allied with my enemy. And so that means he probably has a grievance because they're not in at the war. Um, so our trust is deteriorating rapidly. We are much more powerful th than them, and they are needy out of us. So part of me feels like I should just renounce this. To hopefully keep the trust from going away. Okay. What then the other thing is, you're at peace with the enemy of the Mexicans. I I would I would like you to join this war. I'm gonna go ahead and demand that one. This doesn't end she didn't. Violence. She didn't say yes. Don't. No, she me. did. She did join. Please. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Now the other thing, and I didn't think about this when we declared war, we have all these demands here, which might be kind of annoying because when, because remember all these costs the war support and we have to take these. So we might not have too much war score left over to like take a city or two. So yeah, that could be a problem. All right, so you guys are coming up and we are basically trying to find what we can raise. Cannot be done as there's no valid targets in range. All right, well, we'll send you this way. We'll send you this way. Then for these ships, I mean, I could send them over here. I'm going to go right here so you don't take any damage so that we can get over there next turn. And I'll probably bring you over. I know we're about to finish the ships in two turns, but the thing is, theoretically, I should start taking this territory. And if I take that territory, then we, you know, we're good. So I forgave... Um, attitude change, Aztecs feel differently, the Edo Japanese feel differently about me. Trader out destroyed, not surprised, not surprised. Our money's still 160 per turn. Brahma. Which one's Brahma for the record? Interesting. Kind of interesting that the Edo Japanese are coming all the way over here with their culture. Um, yep, 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 yep. I also wonder if that has something to do, because it's like as soon as we declared the war, all of a sudden this started getting converted. Which seems a little weird to me, but okay. Um... All right, well, I'll move you up here, and then we'll go grab that next turn. This buddy, you're gaining HP. We should be able to... Oh, okay, you ended your turn here. We'll heal you for this turn. Then these guys, we need to skip one turn. Okay, Gnosis. Kind of crazy production, 54 production here, too. I, 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 I really do like the idea of that, man. How's our science? Is there an easy way to see what our total science is right now? 815 um our total income is 350 no that's in stock it is 464 just wondering god your food is horrible we should get some food going yeah yeah let's let's throw some food effects down I mean, 22 food, and that is with the boost from <laughs> uh, the Machu Picchu. So, yeah, the food is definitely could could use a little bit of help. And remember, we're actually trying to get the, the growth star, too. That's actually the builder star. Oh, uh, that one's 170. I'm good with that. The agrarian star, we're still five points away, so that one's still going to be a minute. Um, give me one second here. Okay, and then there's also an event here in Gnosis. Thieves of the Seas. Uh, Trans-oceanic trade is flourishing, but such richly veined routes are attacking vultures of the high seas. Pirates are rumored to be planning audacious raids on ships near the wealthy city of Gnosis. Unless the Empire responds, wealth should go to the city. Wait, wealth that should go to the city is likely to go to the pockets of scoundrels. What is the right move? So we could secure, go overproductive, get extra uh, 20 industry for 10 turns, or we can recruit the pirates and we get reinforcements. 200 gold, we basically get a reinforcement. Last time we did this, we got a horse. We got one of the horse scouts. So would this just become a knight? I think I'm just going to go secure. Just because 200 gold and we got to upgrade our ships. So I'm kind of like, eh, on that. Um, and we have all these guys to upgrade too. But we're probably not going to upgrade them until we go to war with... Uh, they're not the Greeks. Whatever they are now. <laughs> Whatever those guys are. Those people, the orange people. I gotta figure out what we're gonna call everyone. Cause I'm so used to calling everyone by their civ name. But when they, they change cultures and change civs, it's like, what the freaking heck am I supposed to call you? I don't actually know. So in our capital, we got even more production. We're up to almost 700 production. Okay, what's the next one? 52 again. I, I, yeah. 
I, <laughs> I mean, the funny thing is we're not even suffering stability. I should go ahead and bump up our walls. We don't need stability. We don't need stability. Influence on main plaza. I mean, our influence is so good right now. We'll do school. We'll do a school. I'll do the better walls. And I'll do the money on the harbor. Our food is not horrible. It's only three food, though. I mean, it's one turn. In fact, we might actually finish multiple buildings in one turn. Like, how... Yeah, I think we're going to finish, like, one and a half buildings or something per turn, which is kind of stupid. Well, you know what? I can actually even calculate that. So, how much production is this? This is 400 production. We're doing 681. So, yeah, we're literally doing one and a half buildings. That's freaking crazy, dude. <laughs> I am not going to complain about that. All right, intern. Brahma will lose population. Okay, let's get you guys up here. I want these guys somewhat close to each other. Still nowhere to pillage. Yet. It looks like this is going to be where we're going to go pillage. They should be close enough that they can actually join the fight. Still no options. Um, probably because we don't have vision. But that's okay. Uh, you will be able to get over here next turn. We have three ships. The thing is, if we see their, um, their Cossacks, their Carracks, yeah, their Carracks, we need to attack them first. Because, especially with naval battles, it definitely seems like whoever gets to attack first is, like, um, in a way better position. Position. Also, I totally forgot about this army here. Let's go ahead and upgrade you, and let's get you guys going. Because they're all upgraded now. And you can go into the ocean tile without any problems. So we like to see that. Okay. So I want you to go pick up this thingy. Um, 100 science, 150. Um, not fame. Influence. Too many no... Like, it's also confusing because it's like you have very similar things. But they're also called different than like a game like Civ. Which, you know, I have to... 5,000 hours in, whatever, how many hours I have in it. How many hours do I have in Civ? That's actually a very interesting question. I think I'm like 2,000 now. Uh, oh, 1,400. Never mind, 1,500. But if you're talking the full Civ series, then yeah, you're getting a lot. Uh, how much movement? You have five movement. Okay. Hey, Naval Artillery. So there is our Carrick. And that actually gives us one other unit slot. Interesting. So we can upgrade you, but you're not obviously going to be in a position to upgrade yet. Do we have a character nearby? I did just move all of these guys out. Yeah, I also don't have money right now to upgrade, so that's okay. Um, uh, Fengio, you have three food. Interesting. So you're saying we probably could use some food over here. <laughs> probably. Probably. So let's get some of that. I got to remember, this is like the food per turn. Which isn't our total food, because it is going down because of consumption. So, you know, our food isn't as bad as it appears. I mean, it's bad, but it's not that bad. Now, do we want to go straight for our, our siege cannon elephants? I don't see why not. Spoils of war. 15% money from spoils of war. I don't know what that means. This is a unique unit. Okay, this isn't... This one you build. Range combat unit can only move or attack in a turn. Cannot retaliate against close combat units. Interesting. Four range. See, I don't see why we would go with the mortar. Literally, our dude is just infinitely better. Unit can attack units without a clear line of sight. Can attack fortifications, removes dug in status. Okay, I can see the use on it, but still, I feel like we would just want our artillery elephants. I don't see any reason why we wouldn't. Um, what else do we have? Trade insurance. Money on the base when buying resources sold to other civilizations. Interesting. Um, planting force will lower uh, pollution. A saboteur. Oh. But can also cause mayhem in enemy lands by sacking unguarded sites. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right. Yeah, I hadn't seen some of this before. Armory, experience on creating military units, veterancy level. Uh, that's extra production, which I'm just going to say I don't think we need. Stability per researchers. I don't think we need the stability, but holy crap. 10% science. That probably is worth it. Yeah, just to get the extra signs. Draftees, taxation office would be nice. Then we might just go with siege cannons. Oh, hey, we can get another city. 
We don't have places to put these cities. Like, we need to do some conquering for us to get these cities, man. Like, I know we have population problems, man. We're working on it. Okay. So, time to go do some sacking. Um... Interesting. So I can sack you. So that is, oh, I guess it's a Hamlet, okay. Administrative center, so it's gonna be that one right there then. Okay, 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 okay. So we're just looking at the wrong one then. So let's get you guys moving in here. Um, I can have you guys come nearby, it doesn't really matter, because once again, these guys are gonna be fairly powerful. Um, What do you got over here, by the way? You have the Temple of Artemis, and you have the Statue of Zeus. So I think Harpa definitely is going to be one that we want to grab. Then Azure is down here as well, which I think we will go conquer. And then we'll have a nice little base over here. We'll have two cities with some decent districts. And, you know, we'll attach that to one of them. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I thought I moved you. <laughs> Apparently, he didn't accept the orders. He's like, I see what you were telling me to do, but I reject your orders and, um, oh crap, how's it go? I reject your reality and institute it with my own or something like that. I forgot how Mythbuster dude said it. Jamie. No, not Jamie. Other guy. Whatever. Um, next. Idle Cities. My keen just finished a bunch of the production buildings. This is food on river. My keen has 18 food. I'll take it. Money on harbor. Don't love, but we might want it. Tourney fields. We should get the money. Yeah, we should get the money buildings, I think, going. Ooh, the library ones, too. I actually think we'll get the food one, and then let's do the science ones. And then we can do the money ones. And you're just queued up for a while. We still have another holy site to throw down, too. You know what? It's going to take one turn in our capital. Let's just go throw it down. Where are we going to throw this down? I don't know. It's a good question. Right here. Right here. It's a one turn obelisk. I feel like, sure. I wonder if those ever upgrade. Get something better. Actually, apparently we can do two. Or is that the same shared project? That might be the same shared project. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, let's get some of these other buildings go going. Let's get the researchers, please. Thank you. Learning. Plus 20 science. Oh, we're actually going to lose that science boost. Boo. Please turn on the districts. I hate how you turn yourself off. I hate how much we keep losing population, man. Polls make following demand. Are you really going to want to do this, polls? Yeah, see, we're at 275 here. Now, the downside is he actually gets to attack first. The ships... These guys are like... These are the ones I want to tank the damage. Like, let them come and shoot these guys, and then we'll, like... Because these guys are my units. I can't afford to lose those. These guys would suck if we lost them. I'm surprised that they're doing the suicidal attack. Retake your flag. Oh. Okay. I was like, what? Yeah, see, that's what we don't want to have happen, is I don't want them to... So our problem here is we only have one range right now. Huh. Your unit cannot attack this round. Um, okay. Can I see what is See, I don't think you can attack. No, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, and you don't have a range of 
Interesting. All right. Well, that was kind of a worthless turn. So I have to like take them off my flag next turn or we're going to lose this battle, which would be kind of annoying. We wouldn't lose any units, but it would be more annoying than anything. Hopefully they don't kill anything. Once again, don't hit my horsey. Hit this guy. Ugh. Okay, so I need you to die. Okay. You dead. Let's go retake our flag, just so we um, don't lose. Your unit cannot attack this round. Weird. Yeah, why can't some of my dudes attack? And some of them can. I feel like... You have not moved yet. So let's move the hurt guys kind of farther away so he can't shoot them. I think that's my thought process here. Ouch. Okay, so horsey buddy. We're going to have to heal these guys when we get to land. Um... Oh, interesting, because he has zone of control on me. I really can't get away from him. So the easiest way to get away from him is actually to come all the way over there. That's kind of hilarious. And this is the kill. Okay. Well, that was scary. That was scary, but we're good. We survived it. We survived it. Um... Probably want to get these guys landed and healing as quickly as possible. The funny thing is my Carracks did um, absolutely fine here. So... Do we want to ransack you? Three turns for 166 gold? No, because this is going to be our territory, so I think leaving it up is probably a better idea. Um, how do we want to enter their territory? I think we come this way. So, one thing we did realize is these guys aren't necessarily the best at combat. They are worth a lot of combat strength, but yeah, they are not the greatest because they're melee and their characters are nice um, range. So that's kind of crazy. Yeah, I don't know what you're doing here. I really don't know what you're doing here. I'm going to propose defusal because like... Number one, we're allies. Number two, she really can't afford to fight me. I mean, I'll kill her. That's fine. I, I have no problem fighting you two. <laughs> Maybe not right this second because I only have one army back at home, but I will kill you. Um, okay, so we got to wait one turn here because you are not what I need yet. This is our exploratory cog. We can just keep cogging it up over here. Um, wonder if you can maybe ninja something over here. It's like a ninja pillage. Doesn't really look like it. And our elephant did land. Nice. Okay. So let's see what we got. We got 13, 14. We got 10, 12. They want 14, 18. But that's a different zone. So I think we do the 13, 14. 150. Good. We have a lot of uh, influence to burn off here. Uh, Fangio. Do we finish the holy site? We did. Okay, so we do have another holy site then. <sighs> Probably just save it for the new city, I think. Food is 42 now. Get the money. Get the research ones and uh, hit me up in a few turns. Then in Hojang. I mean, you know what I want to do. <laughs> You know what I want to do. Per naval trader out. Money on harbor. That one actually seems nice. Yeah, I'll grab the Great Fisher Market. Then we don't need the influence stability. Although apparently some of these buildings lead to other buildings, which is interesting. So we might want to actually do that just because. I don't I don't know what's happening here. You know, like we have all the treaties right now, but their war support's going up, which okay. Still losing air. Ah, we got the agrarian one. That's good. That's good faith. That's good, 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 good faith. Osmosis event. Nice. That's what we love to see. Where's my um, fleet? Thank you. Kind of want to get you guys moving before... This is going to be a hard pathway to get in here. Can we see what this attack is going to be? No. I think we land here. 
Just cause. Make full sail. Yeah, I think so. Then you are gonna go here. The Fallen Empires will have a grievance against you. Okay. Oh, because it destroys the trade route. Ow. I don't care about that. Piss off the world, man. Let's do it. <laughs> you think I care? You think I care? Oh, pulls into the treaty with us. Osmosis event. Okay, that's fine. Give me some tech, please. Um, extra 749 science. I love it. I warn you. Do not deceive me. I'm not deceiving you. I'm literally doing nothing here, man. Me and you are, we're cool. We're totally cool. She has like no luxury resources, which is why she's probably needy with me. me. Let's talk. You want to trade everything. Um, I'm fine with that. So the other one's like, we're pissed off with you. And they're like, you know what? We kind of like you. It's like, okay. Benefit from the wondrous effect of this luxury. The Mexicans benefit from the wondrous effect of this luxury. I cannot afford a trade license. Uh, we need to upgrade you, please, to a Carrick. Boom. I'm going to send you down here and let's get some vision with you. I, I, I'm tempted to try bringing you into the war. But you're kind of far away. So I don't think I'm going to worry about that right now. There's really no place for me to heal my cog. Which is unfortunate. I can't low upgrade these guys. I don't have the money. But I can't do it anyways. Because I'm not in a good town for it. Or in a good location. So we are going to go ahead and pillage this. Oh, that's actually part of a jour. Oh, I think I'm still fine pillaging that. Yeah. Suck those guys. Um, okay, still gotta move. Nope, never mind. Gnosis is just done because they keep building everything in one turn. <laughs> it's kind of stupid. Oh my gosh. Oh, no, sorry, not Gnosis. That is um, our capital that keeps building everything in one turn. Do we have. We do have. Non aggression pack. Because I will totally destroy him. Cultural conversion started. Population loss. Cultural conversion. They're oppressing my people. Aztecs signed your treaty for open border. Aztecs yielded. They 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 knew what was coming. New alliance. Poles and Edo Japanese. And then Congo discovered. Oh, interesting. I feel like. Oh, did we just get vision from them? I think that's what just happened. I think we just got vision from these guys. Maybe. Because of the alliance? Because they're allied. Oh! So they're allied with our allies. So since we have vision, all their vision, not these guys, but, um. I'll not aggression pack you now. Uh, but anyway, since we have all the vision with the poles, they got all the vision from the Edo Japanese, and then I got the vision from them. So there you go. Okay, so do we want to upgrade or do we want to attack first? Can we get 10 stars? It's a good question. It's worth 152. It's a very good question. This is my territory. I was like, wait a second, what? <laughs> I was like, wait, why are the poles over here invading me? I'm confused. Where the freaking heck are we? There we are. Okay, I need you. Yeah, see, I don't think we're gonna be able to get to 10 stars this turn. I think we upgrade ourselves, but I'm gonna do it anyways. That's 416 gold, dude. That's kind of crazy. I need this money. So that's where I'm kind of like down for this. So I think we need to build a couple more of our unique buildings before. I think that's the plan. So let's queue up a couple of those, get those knocked out. And then I think next turn we upgrade. Just to be safe. So, Ho Zhang, give me the 52. Uh, I'm going to remind me later. Gnosis, give me the 54. 
Uh, not Athenia. Fangio, give me... Oh, only 43. That's disappointing. <laughs> uh, and then my keen... 49, 49. We'll take the 49. You know what kind of sucks about this? We're going to steal one of their cities, but we're not going to be able to build this building. Which is one of the best buildings, in my opinion. It's freaking awesome. It's giving us crazy value. Crazy good value. So, Aristar unlocked. We got another builder one. So, hey, extra fame. We are... Falling behind. By a lot now. Yeah, it was like a 3,000 thing, and now we're like 4,000 points down. So, that sucks. Uh, we do have a slight advantage there, but we're going to want multiple armies here. For sure. Let's see, you're one turn away, and then you're done, and then we're going to plant our own city there. Speaking of which, um, you don't have to stay here. I don't know why I have you still staying here. Because we want to go... Yeah, up here. Probably end up making one of these into a city. Probably end up making that into a city. We'll have to see. What do we got, by the way? 31 minutes? Okay. Um, okay. This is our Keterik. Um, There's ice in the middle of the water. That's interesting. Ooh. Yeah. Lots of glaciers. I wonder if it's possible to run into them. You know, like sink your Titanic or something. <laughs> We're just doing some more exploration over here. Hopefully we can find some wonders or something that no one else has found. Because I would like the fame. Ho Zhang did finish their building. I can't build another one of those districts. I have maxed out the districts. Oh, only ones per territory. Oh, that actually makes sense then. Aw, oh, that's disappointing. Stability per researcher we don't need. 10% science I will take. Um... Everyone else is building. I mean, I could go and try finishing all of them, but it's just like, eh. Yeah, and I don't really want to spend the money because I'm spending my money elsewhere. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and upgrade ourselves. All right, so we could stay as the Mughals. We could. Let's see what else we have. The Persians are shared production cost is cheaper and production cost in industry or on all constructibles is cheaper, which is kind of crazy considering what we're doing. Then money per trade routes, extra industry, extra money, less stability, extra money per market quarter, counts as makers and market quarters. And then they get um, gunners. Maybe. I want to see what the um, Mexicans were. They were food in all cities. Hacienda was extra food, less stability. And then Soldadorales uh, are also gunners. 49 combat strength. Or the Persians. 46. Okay. We have Australian Austro-Hungarians, which is just um, fame. Or influence, rather. Stability. And then they have really strong agents. So they ignore hostile zone of control. That actually is kind of interesting. So they're really strong units. Really strong gunners that ignore zone of control. The British, we got money per number of attached territories and capital. Which is like four, three or something like that. Science per number of territories. I mean, yeah, yeah they're fine. Money, money per liege, per district. Yeah, I don't really think they're too great for us. The Redcoats, pretty strong. And regenerate health when outside your territory. I mean, it makes sense. They should have one of the best um, gunner units. Then we have French, which is extra science in all cities. They have the Cursiators, heavy cav, three horses. Interesting. Interesting. Much higher combat strength when charging. And then Exhibition Hall gives you science per population, stability, and then influence counts as research quarters. Question is, do I have three horses? We do have three horses. So we could. We could do them. All right, Germans. We have combat strength on naval unit, combat strength on air unit. That doesn't really help me. Uh, negative uh, production for unit industry. Cooking works is industry per population. Uh, extra pollution. Uh, loose stability. And then they can make the U-boat. Torpedo vessel. We don't have oil. 
I bet when we get to the next level, we're going to see what those question marks are. I'm going to say probably not, because I don't know we really need to build too many more units. Italians are extra stability influence. Uh, trade influence, or influence per trader, influence per researcher, influence stability influence, and then Alpini. Alpini? Eh. Eh. We got the Russians. I've never seen any of these, by the way. Uh, plus 10 experience on creating unit per number of attached territories in all cities. Plus 10 experience on creating unit per number of attached territories. Oh, I gotcha. 10 war support increase when capturing city on relations. That's going to be something that's going to happen. We got influence, stability, faith, and health regeneration on unit. And then the Cossacks. Eh. Eh. They're not even that good. And they're kind of like... Like, the Cossacks aren't really much better than our elephants. The Siamese... They got industry per cities, money generated from ongoing trade, money, stability, or money, industry, less stability, extra money, and then the Gatling elephant. Well, okay. <laughs> Gosh, dang it. Well, I guess we're going to keep doing the elephant play, man. Um, and then they got the MP here. Ooh, these guys are cool. 50% health regeneration unit, combat strength when units starting in their allied territory, stability, combat strength, um, Jason to district. Yeah, I mean, we're going to do Siamese. They also had the extra money, which is what I was like. I was liking them, and then you see a Gatling elephant, and it was like, come on. So the target unit cannot move next turn as reduced combat strength. That's actually ridiculously cool. So we now have Gunner elephants we have cannon elephants and we have gatling elephants like let's freaking go the world gets larger never seen this one cities expand buildings reach higher and roads stretch longer and yet the world gets smaller as bridges unite lands towns congest and railroads bring distant that's a legit bridge man anything seems possible in this wondrous future though as humankind grows planet itself appears to shrink nothing about warfare on that one and i wonder if he's gonna mention the gatling elephants yep on elephants armed with gatling guns <laughs> that was a bit of a lazy one but i'm not going to complain about it so we definitely have an eastern flair in this campaign like i think almost all of our ones have been eastern yeah because we started off with the zhao what was our second one i don't think our second one was so question we have coal interesting it's a weird symbol we don't know what those are i'm assuming those are oil oh no this is oil i wonder if oil is only going to be in the water yeah i don't know we're gonna have to see on that do we have any other question marks that we knew of um doing a quick glance here i don't think i remember seeing any other ones we have more coal here uh, that's just a resource. Diamonds. Thing is, oil, I'm wondering. Because we only have one source of oil. There's more coal. So I feel like we're going to need more sources of oil. Mm-hmm. Got more horses here. We got uh, more coal here, too. I don't know what we're going to need coal for. Uh, Ransacked was successful. Cool. Uh, population loss, cool. Okay, so we immediately want to go ahead and throw an outpost here, which is an immediate one-turn thing. Instantly happens, and this is now our territory. Great. And we're going to spend the influence to buy ourselves a harbor, because, you know, we can. And good. Let's get this army moved down south. Now, I can go ahead and upgrade this guy, our, our ships here, but we'll wait for them to um, finish. So we got pretty good power right here. We're going to wait for our other army before we do the attacking. But I'm feeling pretty confident about this attack. I don't even know. I mean, he has citizens. You know what we could do? No siege engine unlocked. Okay, so you do lose war support. I was wondering about that. <laughs> Dang it. That's fine. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Ah, yeah, his war support's going way up. Probably because I just raised his thing would be my assumption, right? Yeah, plus 10. And then he got the 5 because I just abandoned the siege. <sighs> That's kind of frustrating, but, like, uh, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's not that big of a deal. New Wonder can be claimed. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot about these. Let's see what we got. We got Big Ben. 
stability, eh. Science per alliance, science per city, science per capital, fame. We're looking for money. Science is probably not bad either. Industry per population in all cities. What did he claim? Wait, we built the Machu Picchu. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, we're the Siamese now. Sorry, I was really confused there. Statue of Liberty, money per number of territories in your sphere of influence. Yeah. Yeah, dude, all of these are great. I'm gonna go with Statue of Liberty for now, just for the extra money. And I mean, this is gonna get knocked out in like no time flat, just for the record here. Hojang, 19 turns in the Statue of Liberty. Cannot be done in this type of terrain. Has to be in the water? Oh, it has to be on a... Oh, interesting. It has to be on a dock. Okay. It's actually going to take a little longer than I thought it would, but that's okay. Uh, so, I didn't look through any of these. Populations lost. New wonder can be claimed. We just did. Culture chosen. We are the Siamese. Uh, ransack successful. Yes. Uh, they forgave a grievance. Cultural conversion started. And we retreated. Yeah. All right, let's do our units and see where we're at. And then we're going to wrap this episode up. We have seven movement. That's actually kind of nice. Mm-hmm. So there's really nothing down here except... I mean, literally nothing. There is an island right here. Good to note. Um, I'm going to come up and take you this way. Just because I want to see if there's a wonder this way. And it looks like that's a big no. Then our elephant... 14, 18, 10, 17. Uh, 14, 18 is going to be way better. You're peaceful with us. Good, good, good. And we actually have you done. So if I want to make you a city, well, let's go ahead and start building the crap we need first. Because we got stupid amounts of culture right now, remember? So, 1,800. Or would we rather have the capital here? So this was what? This is 4,315. Man, I think we make you a city and be done with it. Yeah, it's not a bad location. It really isn't. Kind of want to put you there. Oh, it's it's ocean there. Interesting. Yeah, we got 1,800. We'll do it. We have plenty of city locations, so this will work for us. All right, so we got a floating market which is our new building. We don't really want to start with that though. Um, we're actually great on stability, but we probably want to start with... I can't build walls or anything to begin with. Do I have to be a certain size before you can build the, um, the buildings? Maybe. Food is only six food, man. 17 production. I think I'll start with the production. 17. Yeah, I think I like that. And we're going to immediately attach you, which would be good. Idea is to start like... Like, we're going to want to take over these towns. Probably just burn them. And then connect them. I don't know. See, it's completely surrounded, which sucks. So not really a good way to deal with it. All right, we got to wrap this episode up. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, comment. Let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, share your support. See you guys tomorrow. Bye, everyone.